We all know we have a primary for the United States Senate here in the state of New Hampshire between Jim Rubens, who spoke to us earlier, and Kelly Ayotte. But someone who's announced his intentions to run as an independent in the general election is with us. His name is Aaron Day, and uh, he's going to make an introduction of himself and tell you why he's running. Without further ado, Aaron Day, followed by Brendan Kelly. Good afternoon. When exposing a crime is treated as a crime, you're being ruled by criminals. So I want to repeat that. When exposing a crime is treated as a crime, you're being ruled by criminals. And when we live in a state where James O'Keefe is the one who has a grand jury investigation, not the people committing voter fraud, or when Hillary Clinton is a candidate for president of the United States, while Edward Snowden is in exile, we're being ruled by criminals. I'm running for United States Senate as an independent, and I will say this, I will be voting for Jim Rubens in the primary, but if Jim doesn't win, you're going to be faced with two choices that are, in essence, exactly the same. You have two lawyers turned career politicians who want to determine how the nanny state works for you, and that's not acceptable under any set of circumstances. So the idea that we should sit around and say, well, look how important it is that the Republican controls this seat. Well, that very same Republican voted for Comey for FBI director, voted for Loretta Lynch for U.S. attorney, has a 34% conservative voting record. It's not acceptable. If you want to know what my position is, if the question begins, should the federal government, the answer is no. And I'll go through all the issues at a much later time, but I'll give you one other one. My view on taxation is that taxation is theft. So thank you very much. Uh, vote Rubens, and if Rubens doesn't win, vote day for U.S. Senate. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Crop TV.